What's going on guys? Beastly Gamer here, welcome to the channel. Is the Xbox Scorpio a reaction to Sony's PlayStation 4 success? Do you guys think that the Xbox Scorpio and Xbox One S announcements were because we heard initially that PlayStation was working on a newer PlayStation 4 model? Do you guys think that Phil Spencer actually said, oh no, we can't let this happen. We're going to have to do something, some kind of defensive tactic to ward off any more uh, consumers buying the PlayStation 4, we need to bring them back to the Xbox One. Yay or nay? Do you guys think it was a re reaction or not? I personally believe it was, but Phil Spencer said it wasn't. And I'm going to drop a link in the description. Microsoft Xbox One Scorpio sending us far away from Sony's PlayStation 4. Microsoft isn't launching the Xbox One Scorpio in response to the PlayStation 4 Neo. Xbox One Scorpio isn't being developed as a response to the PlayStation 4 Neo, Microsoft has claimed. According to Xbox boss Phil Spencer, Microsoft is focused on the needs of gamers and isn't worried about what Sony is doing. Spencer made his claims in an interview with The Guardian and also spoke about unifying the Xbox One and Windows 10 platforms. Quote, Sony is doing incredibly well with the PlayStation 4 and they're doing something fundamentally different from us. We're not building a strategy in response to what they're doing, we're building a response to what we see consumers and gamers asking us for, end quote. Interestingly, he rebutted the notion that Microsoft is trying to turn PC owners into console gamers. Quote, PC gaming and console gaming are different, and the customer segments have capabilities and expectations that are unique to the platform they play on. End quote. After suggesting that there are more common experiences that could be shared between the platforms, he added, quote, but I bristle at the idea that we're bringing the platforms together. It's not that I'm trying to turn PC gamers into console gamers or console gamers into PC gamers. We just know, and I'm sure you're tracking it, the health of PC gaming is incredible right now. And we know some and we know that some of our best and most active customers on Xbox One are also PC gamers. So we see this opportunity to service the customer and where they actually play. And they want to stay connected to their friends everywhere they are, end quote. Project Scorpio is being touted as the most powerful console ever created. It boasts six teraflops of GPU, which will deliver 4K gaming and support virtual reality. It will be preceded by the robot white Xbox One S this August. The Xbox One update sports a new design that's 40% smaller than the original Xbox One. It has an internal power supply and supports 4K Ultra HD for Blu-ray disc and content stream through Netflix and Amazon. Um, I think this is a lie. It has to be. Come on. Everything that Xbox has done since Phil Spencer has gone, gone into there has been a reaction. The entire dream or, or vision of what the original Xbox was has been completely 180'd since Phil Spencer has gone in there. Why? Was it because people said, no, we don't want this, or because Sony took off? The PlayStation 4 took off. They immediately, from, the, from day one, they were just killing the Xbox, and they had to change things, and, and pretty much... The way that this console war has been going is one company will do something innovative, the other company has to follow suit. When PlayStation announced, or at least leaked that information that they were working on a PS4K, it, it had been leaked for a long time. When the PlayStation 4K was actually revealed or leaked uh, months ago, there was no news of the Xbox One S or the Xbox One Scorpio. Uh, and everything that Microsoft has been doing from the initial release of the Xbox One, for me, has been reactionary. The removal of the uh, of the Xbox One Connect, uh, the removal of Always Online DRM, the ability to share your games—all these things were all reactions to what Sony was doing. I mean, this is a competition, and so for anyone to think that the Xbox One Scorpio uh, is in some way, shape, or form just a unique idea that Microsoft came up with out of thin air, I, I believe that's disingenuous to even believe that. You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Is Phil Spencer telling the truth? Are, are they just completely uh, doing their own thing? Are they just dreaming in a room together and they come up with these unique ideas? Or do you think that they're looking at the landscape of competition and seeing what they need to do to pivot to try to get ahead of the curve? You guys let me know what you think in the comments below. Be sure to give a thumbs up and show support for the channel. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter and tell all your friends about me. I'm the Beastly Gamer, and I'll see you guys next time.